Welcome back to Cricket Bat Info, everybody. It's Mark here, and today we'll be having a look at a Tornado Sports Company Mark or Grade 1 Cricket Bat, all the way from Pakistan, straight after this. So just before Christmas, I was contacted by the Tornado Sports Company, and they said, we'd like you to review one of our bats. We'll send it over to you. How does it all work? Uh, so there was a lot of communications about freight. And eventually they sent me the tracking details and it arrived by DHL just before I went on Christmas uh, holidays. I finally got the chance to come out and do a proper review on it. Uh, comes in this cover here, which is a full cover. It's fully padded, nice carry straps. Um, unusual sort of soft, uh, like leathery feel here on the front. Uh, only thing I'd say is because it's white, it does pick up dirt really easy. Uh, but it's really good quality um, and really well lined. So that's their cover. And this is the bat here. This is the Markor. So Markor, if you don't know, and it's probably easier for me to pick up the bat and show it to you via the rear sticker. Um, that is the Markor. The Markor is a Highland goat that lives in the Himalayas and it has a particularly unique corkscrew uh, horn, which looks like that. So that is the national animal, or one of them, I guess, of Pakistan. And so they've named it that for their top of the line bat. And we're looking at it right now. So this is a grade one offering. You can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grains across the face. Uh, no real blemishes here. It has suffered a knock in transport. I can see that there. I'm wondering whether a transport, a uh, customs officer tried to uh, stick a, a poker in or something like that. But that's just very superficial. I wouldn't worry about that. That would be covered with your edge tape or something like that. Um, that is the bat on the back, as I showed you before. Uh, it has laser engraving. So you can see their Tornado Sports Company, TSC, and that's laser engraved on both sides here. So it is English Willow, I can, uh, I'm fairly confident of that. Um, because even on there, they actually have a really nice website, uh, Facebook page, YouTube channel, and they talk about the fact that they sell Serbian Willow bats and English Willow. So this is an English Willow bat rather than the stuff grown in Serbia, which I think is a refreshing change for a company not to um, sell willow grown in Serbia and not say that it's such. So this is actually the English willow stuff um, and it's a nice looking uh, piece of timber uh, as you can see there. I will say, I'll say straight off that I think they're, um, the finishing is, is not up to scratch with some of the uh, top brands. It's not that sort of finish. So um, it's nothing wrong with it and you can see on their website and I'll leave links in the description to videos of theirs of how they actually manufacture the bats and the processes they go through um, and what points they're actually uh, polished. So this particular bat you can see straight away that you're not looking at a very big bat and you're also not looking at a very heavy bat so bear that in mind. I know we've been looking at 29, 210 211 bats, but this is not one of those. We've got here a mid to mid-low profile. Uh, that spine carrying on a little bit lower than the peak of the edge. And they're putting the TSC right in the middle position there. And it's got a fairly thick toe for what you'll discover is its weight and thick uh, shoulders, but they have narrowed down here. It does remind me a lot of the uh, Usman Khawaja bat down here, it's very narrowed. I'll do the specs on that straight away so you can see. So we'll start off here at the shoulder and you can see here we've got a decent 15 mil there. The spine at that position there is 31. So I mean we've been seeing bats going more towards the 40 so it's not one of those bats that has a huge spine following down into the handle. Um, the edge size is on that sort of 40 mil and the toe at the edge is 22.7. So fairly good uh, dimensions edgewise there. It has the spine going down through the toe and that gives it a 24 mil toe. And if I measure the spine, 
um, the spine is actually 61.8. Easy for me to say that because I've actually filmed this review five times due to different reasons. Um, I'll put it straight into the gauge so you can have a look. So instantly, it's not the five mil camber. We're looking at something around two to three and much more of a flat face as you can see there. They have left the edges fairly sharp, so they haven't tried to bone those edges. And that, when they are boned, eventually that will probably bring that edge size down slightly. Looking uh, at the profile itself, yeah, it definitely goes under the gauge and there's probably about five mil of concaving. So there's some wood taken out to reach the weight that it is. And I can see that it is a little bit narrower than the gauge straight off. I have measured this before and got around 106 millimetres. So it's about 1.8 uh, millimetres narrower than a standard bat, but it's like that on both sides. The handle itself is actually a really nice shape. It's a thick, thicker style semi-oval down the bottom here. Um, and also up the top, it feels really nice in the hands, more traditional rather than a round handle. The construction itself is five cork inserts. Uh, it shows five on here. It's, unfortunately, it looks like one of the inserts hasn't gone all the way uh, to the edge there, so it only shows four on this side, but it's definitely five. And the other thing I can tell you about, it, it's got some really good quality binding. They're not, uh, it's not what I would call uh, that sort of cheap uh, level bat where they're trying to cut costs and manufacture as cheaply as possible. There's actually uh, quite a lot of decent bat making going into this. Um, the grip itself is good quality. Uh, octopus here. I like this uh, center part, makes it feel a bit thicker and octopus at the top. So it's nice and it matches the color scheme. Now the stickers themselves, uh, I know I've talked, we've reviewed a fair few uh, Pakistan based bats, but it's really hard because obviously trade restrictions and things like that to get a lot of uh, Pakistan made bats in so I, I still think that they have a way to go on sticker quality um, These are embossed but not textured. They're very shiny. I don't think I don't believe that these have got the uh, enamel that we've seen on other stickers like the mids, but I'm not particularly sure and I won't be knocking this bat uh, so I can't be 100% on that. Um, and that's the stickers on the back. They're embossed through there. And there's actually a little bit of embossing just down there on that sticker too. So that the shape itself is very much for a front foot uh, player. It's somebody who's going to be uh, on the drive. Um, and it does leave a bit of thickness down there in the toe and the shoulders. As far as the handle goes, it's not a floppy sort of handle. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of twist in it. Um, so that's, that's a good sign. Uh, and it seems to be fairly well constructed. I can't see any real uh, bog or things like that going on under there. Um, and they haven't glued that down. They're not, not trying to hide anything there. And I do encourage you, if you're interested, just have a look at their YouTube channel. Um, if you can speak Urdu or Hindi, you'll probably find it more interesting than I could. So let's move some things out and we'll do the pickup and the weight. So immediately in my hands when I pick this bat up, it feels light. It feels like a 2.6 two in the hands. That concaving is really making it um, feel light, but it actually feels like there's some power in it. It feels like you would get a decent swing out of it and a decent connection, if I could put it that way. So it's, it's probably feeling its weight and we will weigh it. Obviously, I know what it weighs. Yeah, it's surprising. It's 2.72 and um, that puts the dimensions and the concaving into more perspective. So to give you that thick edge, they've gone for the concave, something that some manufacturers stop doing. Uh, to try and get that full looking bat. Um, whereas, you know, I, I don't have an, an issue with it either way. I'd prefer to see more wood uh, left down in the toe than, uh, than narrowed. And yeah, there's quite a bit of uh, wood down in that area here. I mean, this is obviously the dead area of the toe, uh, but it's got a fair bit. It looks like it would be a condensed middle, 
but let's give it a tap up and hear what it actually sounds like. So I'm actually going back to the old mallet, starting at the toe. And it's really going well, particularly right there in that middle. Off center. Now, the feel of the bat, it does not feel to me to be a soft press at all. It feels to be well pressed and it's really nice bit of timber because it's really responding well. So um, for $300, I think he said, uh, including delivery, which I imagine includes um, covering my cost to send it to you, wherever you are in Australia, that is. I think it's a good buy. Um, you're getting good value for money. And if you're from Pakistan and know about the brand uh, and wanted to try one, this is your opportunity without having to buy it from there. They do have a return policy as well. It's on their website. So go and have a look at all those links. And yeah, it's great to have another brand reach out to Cricket Bat Info and send us a bat to see. As far as this bat goes, the performance is there, uh, the handle feels good, the pickup is nice, the willow quality is good. It just needs to lift a bit at that finishing level. And I'll just show you one last thing and that's the um, toe. You can see there the grains are pretty nice and even running through that. So it's a really good quality bit of timber there. So thank you very much to Tornado Sports and that is the Markle.